Hi, I'm Macy from the Charleston County Public Library, and thanks for watching this virtual program. September is Library Card Sign-Up Month, and your Charleston County Library Card is the key to a wealth of information and resources for free. Of course we have tons of books. We also have movies, telescopes, museum passes, and gaming tablets for kids. And your library card gives you access to tons of digital content, like ebooks, audiobooks, music, and magazine subscriptions, plus access to databases for professional development, learning a new language, and genealogy research. Your library card is available for free if you live in Charleston County. Just stop by your neighborhood branch with your proof of address and your ID. For more information, visit ccpl.org. Hi friends, Miss Emily from the Charleston County Public Library main branch here today with a fun science experiment. Today we are going to be using eggshells to make crystal geodes. You may have seen geodes on nature hikes with your family and they usually take millions of years to create. We are going to make one in just three days. So while it does require a little bit of patience, I think it's worth the wait. The first step in our crystal egg geodes is to take an egg, egg and cut it in half. There are ways to blow out the inside of the egg before you cut the egg so that you don't make a huge mess. The next step after you've cleaned and dried your eggshell is to go ahead and take a paintbrush and paint the eggshell inside and around the edges with glue. Once the glue has attached to the eggshell, we are going to be using a substance called aluminum potassium sulfate. We bought this online. You can make egg geodes with different things around the house such as borax, but for the, today's video, we're going to be using this. If you guys want to recreate it at home, you can buy this online, but I do recommend wearing gloves and parents watching your little ones with this. So, once the glue has been applied to the eggshell, you're going to take the alum, what's abbreviated as, and you're going to coat the interior of the eggshell Till the whole eggshell is dusted with a fine layer of alum crystals. You're then going to place that to dry overnight. Now that our eggshells have dried, we are going to take two cups of very hot water, nearly boiling. Again, parents, I'd recommend you do this step. And we're going to put it in a heat resistant vase. So I've got my measuring cup. One and two. And so that we get the beautiful coloring of the egg geode, we are going to go ahead and mix in about 30 to 40 droplets of food coloring. Now, if you have a pack of Easter egg dye lying around somewhere, you can use that as well. And you don't have to do green. I just did green because it is my favorite color. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can put in as many or as little as you like. The tutorial did recommend 30 to 40 drops. And we are just gonna stir this in. So it is mixed up. Stirring in our food coloring and getting that mixture all mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and take three quarters of alum powder. I have a quarter cup measurement spoon. And I'm gonna use that three times. I'm going to mix that in with the hot water and I'm going to stir it until the alum dissolves. Now, if you're stirring and for some reason your alum isn't completely dissolving, pop it in the microwave. Make sure you're using a microwave safe dish for a few seconds just to heat up the water and alum mixture. measuring over the uh, bowl 
That way if I spill any, it just goes in there. So one quarter. three quarters. I'm gonna stir this up until the alum is dissolved completely. You can look at the bottom of the container to see if anything is settling. You want it to be completely dissolved. Once I've got it stirred and the alum is completely dissolved, I'm gonna set this aside for 30 minutes to let the water cool down. All right, now that I've let the water sit for 30 minutes, it's cooler to the touch. What I'm gonna do, you're gonna do this one eggshell half at a time. So it will take a few days. Still using my gloves. Very gently, I'm gonna take the eggshell, place it in the container, and make sure that it's resting at the bottom of the container. So I'm gonna use the craft stick if I need to, to just push it down. And I want it eggshell facing up. So put it in, use the craft stick. Settle down at the bottom there. The geode is formed through a process called sedimentation. The alum solution that's heated contains particles of powder and as the solution cools, they begin to fall to the bottom. When they settle on the bottom, they begin to crystallize. Coating the shell with powder beforehand gives the suspended alum particles a surface to which they can attach. The particles that settle onto the interior surfaces of the shell crystallize quickly, but you will also see evidence of crystallization on other parts of the shell as well. Hey guys, welcome back to day three of the crystal egg geode experiment. Day one was cutting our egg, gluing the shell, and putting some alum powder, letting that rest overnight. Day two was mixing up the water, the alum, and the food coloring and letting the eggshell sit in that overnight. And day three is the reveal day. So I've got my gloves back on and I am ready to take this out and see if it grew as many crystals as I'm hoping for. It's your final moment. Can I get a round of applause at home? Now try to do it carefully because there are still some crystals that might be a little bit loose, so you don't want to do it too quickly. Don't let that water fall away. And there we go, we've got some beautiful crystals. They are still a little wet, so they do need more time to dry. So I'm gonna put them on some paper towels. You can use newspapers or a drying rack that you have at home. If for some reason your crystals aren't as many or as numerous as you'd like, you are welcome to put the eggshell back in to the solution and let it rest for another day or two. The next step would be to reheat this water so that the alum that's left is redissolved and stir it all up. And then you can put your second eggshell half into the solution just the way we did the first time and see if you get two perfect, beautiful egg crystal geodes. I am so excited that I got to show this to you. It was one of my favorite projects to make and I hope that you enjoyed learning about it. And if you do order any, be super careful with this one, but let us know your results. Thanks so much for coming to another STEM experiment with me and have a wonderful day.